Hey guys, welcome back. So obviously the background is a little different. I know that you guys have been missing my like vanity background, so I spent yesterday trying to create like a little background to make it a little more personal. I do, get out of here, I do really like the paper backdrops that I use because it's just easy, like you can just roll down a piece of paper and you're good to go, but I do really like how the background turned out and I can switch this up as much as I like. So this is just the same area that I'm sitting in and my paper roll are still up here so I can just roll them down and then this would be behind them so it's like having the best of both worlds. I had to full on drill holes in the wall to put these shelves up and I felt so accomplished when I was done with these shelves. I was like, Biebs, are you ready to flip some houses? Because I feel like I can handle it. <laughs> Anybody else get like that? You do one little thing and you're like, I can take on the world. That's how I felt yesterday putting up these shelves. So I hope you guys like this background and it, it'll probably change often well maybe not often because i really like how this looks back here so, so today's video is going to be my favorites i feel like i always say the same thing i don't have a ton of stuff and then it's like a 20 minute video but when i look down it doesn't really look like a ton of stuff scene oh let me get it get a, like a sticker stuck on him I hate freshly washed hair, it just falls in your face. Well, like I said, it doesn't look like I have a ton of stuff sitting here, but then it turns into a 20 minute video. So let's go ahead and jump in. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is my new Clarisonic. So you can see that they've totally changed the shape of the Clarisonic. I like this a lot better than the old version. I just feel like it's a lot easier when you're washing your face to just hold on to this guy. I snapped the other day like me like power washing my face with it and someone's like, you're supposed to let the Clarisonic work for you. And I'm like, I'm barely touching my face. It's just at the end of the time that you're like washing your face. I get like really anxious, so I'm just like Aah! like all over the place. I don't really put a lot of pressure on my face when I'm washing it with the Clarisonic. Like, you don't need to like scrub your face super hard with this guy, but even though my face has broken out, it's kind of like past that stage now, and it's starting to look super good. So I hadn't been using a Clarisonic for a really long time, so the breakouts were expected because when you start using one of these, it's just like bringing all like the gunk to the surface, especially if you've never used any kind of like exfoliating cleansing tool like this. You are gonna experience some breakouts, but it is totally worth it in the long run because those will go away and then you'll just be left with like fresh radiant skin so I'm super excited about this guy I got him in the blue shade because me and Biebs share this because all Clarisonic brush heads work on this guy this is just the brush head that came with the Clarisonic but I got Biebs like the little guy kit so he just unscrews this brush head and puts his brush head on and then uses it as well so if you have a boyfriend you guys can go like have Z on one so you don't have to spend a bunch of money on it and then just get him the guy brush head and then, you know, teamwork. <laughs> so my next favorite is a drugstore foundation. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Concealer. I wanted to mention this to you guys because I've been using this foundation on and off for about two weeks now, just trying it out. And I love this foundation. This is such a bomb drugstore foundation. And I wanted to mention it to you because you guys know I love this Clinique Beyond Perfecting, which is a foundation and concealer as well. So it's kind of like a dupe for this Clinique version. The Clinique one leaves you... I'm sorry. <coughs> so the Clinique foundation leaves you a little more dewy, even though it says it gives you like a natural matte finish. I found that... I find that this kind of... Ugh. I found that... I find that this foundation does leave me dewy, which I do like, and the Milani one gives the more natural matte finish. The Milani one is medium to full coverage, it's lightweight, oil free, and it has a long wear, water resistant, and sweat proof resistant. Does this one do all that? So this is the foundation that I do have on right now. It's so beautiful, you barely need any foundation. It covers everything flawlessly. If you have any marks on your face, any blemishes, poof, gone. I'm really into the concealer foundation two in one because I just think it gives such a flawless, flawless finish. And you know me, I am a full coverage foundation girl. It's either all or nothing. We ain't got time for BB creams, tinted moisturizers, none of that. I want it all or nothing. The color that I'm wearing right now is four, which is medium beige. I also have light beige. Um, but I haven't I haven't tried light beige yet because I've just been a little tan these days So so into this foundation and I love it that it has a pump on it. Yes Even though mine's like all dirty right now <laughs> 
So my next favorite is my Best Damn Moisturizer. If you guys didn't know, I did create this line, Best Damn Beauty. A lot of people get confused when they realize the name of my lip mask is called the Best Damn Lip Mask. They're like, oh, I thought you were just calling that because it was your favorite. I'm like, no, that's what it's actually called. So our newest product is the Moisturizer, and I'm so into this guy. It's such like a lightweight, super hydrating, intense moisturizer that is perfect to wear underneath your foundation because if you didn't know, the secret to youthful skin is lots of hydration. So any time of day is good for moisturizing but I also wanted a moisturizer that I could put on underneath my makeup that would absorb really quickly into the skin because if you're like me you don't want to wait you know 15 minutes for your moisturizer to absorb into your skin before you can move on to your primer so I wanted something that was really lightweight but really packed to punch when it came to hydration so that's why we created the best damn moisturizer so I have a link in the bottom bar for this guys and of course I always have the 20% off coupon code that's always good for you a lot of you ask if it's going to expire and it will not so all that good stuff is listed in the bottom bar but if you've been looking for a really great moisturizer please 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 give this a try I promise you will not be disappointed so since we were just talking about hydration let's talk about the almighty coconut oil so this is from Kapari and this is a coconut melt it's just coconut oil but this guy is paraben free non GMO silicone free vegan paraben free sulfate free and cruelty free and I use this guy all over my hair all over my body my ankles my knees my stomach my neck I basically use this guy everywhere it's basically just coconut oil it just looks like cute and it's in this like huge tin like I feel like I I mean, I'll probably run out of this coconut oil because I use it so, so much. But coconut oil is just a great natural hydration thing. I couldn't think of a word after hydration. Um, so I mainly use this guy in my hair. I slather it on my hair pretty much twice, three times a week because I just have dry hair at the moment. And I'm getting ready to go back blonde here soon. So I've just been really wanting to hydrate my hair. I put it in my hair and it says you can leave it in for like 40 minutes, but I basically leave it in all day. If I'm cleaning the house or if I'm doing anything where I don't need to go out into the world and people need to see me, I will have coconut oil in my hair. So all I do is just take some out, melt it into my hand, and then just distribute it all through my hair. And it's really been making a difference in hydrating my hair. Now, I'm not going to lie, the reason that I did buy this was it said under eye rescue on it, and I haven't even used it on my under eyes. Like, how far? is that I was like oh under eye rescue yes haven't even tried it underneath these eyeballs so I will try it underneath my eyes and let you guys know what I think this cough and sore throat situation needs to go somebody told me that it might not even be my cold it might just be allergies because Florida has been in the red zone for like three weeks now perfect <laughs> so I just wanted to give this guy a little mention because I have been using him non-stop and I also got the little like actual coconut oil it's like a like an actual oil like you drip it on but I I couldn't find it so you can basically find coconut oil anyway just make sure you find like cold pressed and like organic coconut oil it's um, most of the time like on the top shelf at the supermarket top shelf <laughs> I do love perfumes I'm a perfume junkie it's just I don't really mention them all the time because it's hard to be like oh my god this perfume smells so good can you smell it Oh wait, you can't smell it because you're sitting on the opposite side of a computer screen. <laughs> I'll mention them to you guys so that if you know you're ever out and you want to smell one or if you're looking for one, you kind of have like a direction on where you want to go. So the first one is from Machino and it is the Fresh Couture and I just love the packaging on this one. Like it looks like a Windex bottle. How cute is that? You think that you'd be able to spray it like this to spray your perfume, but no, don't be fooled. That's just the cap. <laughs> I was really trying for like 15 minutes when I first got it. I was like, why won't this spray on me? And I was like, this one is just so fresh so clean like I'll put the notes somewhere in the video I'm sure but this one if you want like a really fresh springy floral clean scent this is the one that you want to go for and I mean you just can't beat the bottle so my next favorite is from Bosha and this is the charcoal pore pudding which is an intensive wash off treatment I've been really into this guy as a mask I love masks in general and I really like charcoal masks this is a black and white charcoal mask so you mix them together to get like a gray mask on your face now I have a love hate relationship with charcoal masks one I love them because I really like that they purify your face they get out all the impurities and just leave you with like really good skin but I also don't like charcoal masks because I find that they leave 
leave my skin pretty dry after I use them. So when I saw this guy, I was intrigued by it because it said that it kind of moisturized and balanced your skin while refining it and minimizing the appearance of pores. So when you put this guy on, it doesn't dry like a traditional charcoal mask would. You know how some, they get really dry and chalky and they're just like hell to wash off? This guy doesn't do that. It stays damp on your face pretty much the entire time that you have it on. You leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes. And when I wash it off, I do notice that my face feels more moisturized, which I really, really like. I love a mask that's kind of doing a really hard job, like working overtime for your face, but it's still leaving your skin soft and supple because I don't want to use anything that's like over drying my face or like way too harsh on my skin. So this mask has been like my go-to favorite lately. Moving on, my next favorite is from Dose of Colors. This is one of their primer and no 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 this is a loose pigment and primer eye duo from dose of color and it's in the color frozen which is the color that I have on my lid I really like these guys they're super intense what you do first is you pop open the top and it's like a cream primer that you apply to your lid and then you unscrew that and inside is the loose primer I don't want to open it because this guy I dropped it earlier so it's kind of like all over the place you can I mean I can see it you can't see it there's really just loose primer or pigment flying all over the place but I really like the intensity that they give to your eyes. So they come in like 10, I don't know how many colors they come in, maybe like 12 or 13 different colors. I really like that it comes with the primer already so you don't have to figure out what kind of base you're gonna use with it. Your base is already right there so you just apply the base and then apply the pigment right on top and you're good to go. So have been loving this guy. I'm hot, I'm so hot, just freaking dying over here. Yeah, zini. So then my next favorite is an ombre blush from NYX. I basically love anything ombre, hair, nails, blushes, whatever. Um, but this is in the color Mauve Me. I'm really into mauve tone blushes. I have been for a while. To me, this blush reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury Sex on Fire blush that I use all the time except a way more affordable version. I may have bought in all the ombre blushes, but this one just happens to be my favorite of the bunch. So if you've been looking for new blushes, I would definitely recommend these NYX blushes. They have a really great color payoff for being inexpensive, and if you've wanted to try that Sex on Fire blush, but you didn't want to splurge for it, I do think that this is a great dupe for it. So that was everything for my February favorites. I feel like I always mess that up, and then everybody calls me out like nobody else makes mistakes. <laughs> Leave me some of your favorites in the bottom bar so I can check out some new things as I'm always down to check out what you guys are into and leave me some video requests down below of anything that you guys want to see so they can add that to my list of videos to do and I think that is it for this video. I'm gonna just edit this and then go get my nails done because <gasps> They need it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I also hope you enjoyed the new background. I had to go to Home Depot and get a freaking power drill and everything because there's holes in the wall like this big. <laughs> so that is it for this video. I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys except I love you. Thank you so much for watching and until next time I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.